Hi, my name is Pam Hansen. I'm going to share a couple of tips with you um, that helped me with some projects recently. I was struggling with uh, putting a pillow into a pillow cover that had an overlapped back like this um, and the overlap was kind of deep and when I was trying to put the pillow in there I was tearing out the side seams. So um, I saw some pillows that were made by Terry Atkinson for a new pattern that she had with a very deep overlap and I asked her how, in, how she ever got those in there. So this is what she um, told me was the solution to the problem. Start out by um, only turning your pillow cover part way, halfway right side out. So this is the right side out, this is the right side out of this back and you have a pocket in here. Put your pillow into that pocket, then smash your pillow cover down bring this around like that and it just slides right over itself and after you get that all uh, out you can push your pillow back into the corners and make it shaped like you want and have a nice flat in the uh, overlap in the back. This is the pillow that I was making and I'm going to show you how it was uh, what I used to make this Prairie Point pillow a little bit easier project. The pattern is the Prairie Point Pillow and it comes from Seams and Dreams and the tool that I used to help me make this was the Prairie Pointer and this comes from Susan Cleveland Pieces Be With You. This is the tool that comes in the package and it can be used for several different sizes uh, everywhere from little one and a half inch Prairie Points all the way down to bigger pieces. I'm making a using a five inch square for what I'm showing you tonight. Um, you have to put a little ribbon on there when you get it so that you have a handle for the triangle. And the other tools you need will be best press and a hot iron and your fabric square. The first step is to fold this wrong sides together in half. Make a little crease right there. Lay your Prairie Point tool on top of it. Your 5 inch engraved line will run right across the raw edge at the bottom. You're going to bring your folded edges into the center can hold those with one finger. Your raw edges should be pretty straight across. Your folded edges should meet in the middle and you should have a nice little point there. Give it a little spray of best press. Put your iron on top of there. Don't hold your fingers on because the metal gets hot and that's what helps make a crisp crease there. After a couple seconds slide that out using your ribbon because the rest of this is hot. In a couple more seconds lift up your iron and you have a perfectly creased, very crisp little prairie point. And that's my lesson for today. Thanks.